Hello. I am going to try my hand at showing you how to quill one of my flowers. I'm writing this out uh, because I'm experimenting with something. <laughs> You're my guinea pigs. Anyway, let's get started. So to quill the flower that I'm going to show you, you, uh, you start with uh, strips of paper like this, any color you want. And the strips are about 16 inches long. This particular one is about a quarter inch wide, as you can see. So I'm going to start with the purples. Oh, before I do that, the supplies that you need are pretty simple. You just need a bottle of glue, and it's helpful if you have a needle nose on the end of the bottle. I'm going to use a bamboo skewer. Um, it's a pretty thick one. Here's a quilling tool and a pair of scissors. That's all you need. If you don't have a quilling tool, you can actually use a toothpick and splice it so that it has a little um, slot. Just trying to show you, but it's so hard to see. Anyway, I'll keep going. So the first thing you're going to do is cut your strips. Now I've already cut my strips. I'm going to use a purple. And I want 10 of these 4 inches long. So 10 of them is what I need. And I will show you how to do one of them. So you take your 4 inch strip. And you put that in the slot like that. And then you just roll. You can roll it towards you or away from you. You know what? Sorry, cancel that. I got all carried away. I'm nervous. Let's start over again. You take your skewer, this one, and then you put the paper around it, and you just uh, continue wrapping that around that skewer, and then you can slide it off. Put a little dab of dew of uh, glue on it. Doesn't take very much. You don't want it to leak out like that. <laughs> okay, so you've made that and it's round. So to make a teardrop shape, you just pinch it there at that fold, and you have. A little teardrop shape like that. So then you take the next strip, same four inch size, and now you grab the quilling tool. And I'm going to do a, what's called a beeh beehive. And what you do is you twist it about three or four turns this way, take it off, turn it over, kind of skip down a little bit, and do two or three more. Turn it around. A little more. Until you come to the very end. Okay. So you have a little shape like this of a bunch of... Kind of looks like a, a beehive if you see it up close. Ta-da! So what you're going to do now is you take the shape that you've made uh, earlier and you put this shape inside that teardrop. It's a little tricky, but the more you do this, the easier it'll become. So see, now you have a, a little petal for your flower. Now I've uh, made some ahead of time. So all together you make five of them. Okay. Then you glue them together, just kind of at the tip. So I put glue 
everybody does this their everybody has a, their own way of doing this but um, I put a little there and glue it then I put some on this side and then I put the glue on both sides of these two petals that I have left and kind of slide them in there kind of fit them in there and you just kind of play with it until you get it to be kind of like that right cute little flower right so then you take uh, another any color you want that you want to to make and I want to make some leaves but I first want to make a little center for that one so what I do with that because I only need a small amount of paper uh, to make that center I take one of my strips and I make a real thin short strip probably about three inches And then I put glue at the very end here, at the end uh, where it's going to stop, just so I don't have to do it later. And then I put this little tool onto that little piece of paper, and I quill it into what's called a tight cur uh, tight circle. See how the glue is going to hopefully adhere to that? It's easier to do it ahead of time. Then you slide it off carefully. And I don't know if you can see that, but if I put it here, you can see it a little easier. It's very small. And I put a little dab of glue to the side. Ah, one more supply that you need. One more piece of equipment is a tweezer. I have these cute little micro tweezers that I don't know what I would do without them. And then you dip it into, can you see it? can't even see it. Dip it into the glue. Like that. Didn't take much. And then you adhere it to the center. And there you have a cute little flower. Now every flower has to have a leaf. So using the same color, and this is kind of a greenish yellow. Uh, it's kind of bright, cheerful that I chose. Again, this is about 16 inches. It might even be 17 inches, I'm not sure. And I fold it and cut it in half. Not sure you saw that on camera. Let me see if I can go out a little bit. Okay, so then I take my quilling tool and just slide it on the tip there of one and just uh, keep turning it until I get to the very end. And then there's this little helpful thing that you don't have to have, but if you wanna make sure that all of your sizings are uniform, I use this little sizer. And so I set it in, um, I'll set it in this one. And see how it goes out, you know, it spreads out. So then I take the next one and quill it for my second leaf. Put it in the next one, the same size. Now I have two loose toil coils that are identical in size. I put some glue on the tip and squish it. Now, I want my leaf to look not just like a teardrop, I want it to look kind of like that. So I, I squeeze the other end as well. See? And then I do the same to this one. They look like little footballs, sort of. So then I put a little dab of dew, uh, of glue. I don't know where I got that little dab of dew, but. And then I put it kind of in there, wherever you want. It's kind of like Bob Ross says, you know, just kind of make a happy little flower. 
Okay, there you go. It's a cute little flower. And I use these for everything that I make. I'm this kind of a flower. Uh, this was a card I think I showed you another time that I had attached to a card. And then I had taken photos of this one. But there you go. And uh, I guess that is the end. Thanks.